just finished filming this Ashley Benson inspired tutorial. This is from her new Fabiana photo shoots. Um, and I saw this one picture, it was her in a blue dress. I'll have the picture I'm referring to linked down below, so you can check that out if you want to see what I'm inspired by. And of course, this look is not spot on. I just kind of um, was inspired by some of the things she used in hers, and so I wanted to kind of recreate that look in my own way. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys this. Um, I also used Liquid Island for the first time in a, in a tutorial, and I'm really excited about it, so yeah. I super -de duper hope you guys enjoy this, that made no sense, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. So I'm starting with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray primer and I'm putting three dots or sort of three dots on my lid and blending, whoa, I'm blending that all out and then also taking that under my eyes. Then I'm using my MAC Bear Heavy Paint Pot as a base for all my eyeshadows. This is a really good shade to do when you're going to use some sparkly eyeshadows and such. Then I'm taking my favorite Naked 2 palette and using Foxy and putting that all over my lid. As you can see, it's kind of a matte lid until you get to the outer corner. So I'm just blending that all out. Then I'm taking Booty Call with a flat shader brush. And I'm going to put that right in the middle to add just a little bit of sparkle. Then I'm also going to do the same with the verb, but this time with my finger and kind of add a more silvery look to that. I'm just going to keep putting that on until I'm satisfied. Then here's the big part. Take a little brush somewhat like that um, and any black matte shade, this is um, Blackout from the Naked 2 palette, um, whatever brush you choose will work. And what you're going to do is you can kind of see on the other eye, you're going to go in until about half of your eyelashes and you're going to pack on the lid so the color is really there so that later when you blend it out it kind of fades into the rest of your eye because um, this isn't really exactly a smoky eye if you looked at the picture um, it's just kind of like a depthful eye with a little bit of black with it I don't really know and I'm taking the other end of this brush I had and just kind of blending it, that out and smoking it out a little bit and I'm just going to keep working on that until I'm satisfied with how the black turned out. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner and she did not have a wing which I liked. I think that a wing would have been too much for the look. So I'm just using this liquid eyeliner just to line my upper lid and yeah you can wing it out if you want but I'm just not going to because she did it. And you can do this, um, you want to make it more um, full on the outer corner and then make it thinner as you go in. She also didn't go all the way to the end of her eye with it, just kind of stop where her eyelashes stop. Then I'm taking black out with one of the naked brushes and I'm going to um, pack that onto the eyeliner. Then I'm taking pistol and black out together and I'm just going to smudge that under my lower lash line. Then I'm taking a Maybelline, or actually a CoverGirl, Perfect Point Plus pencil eyeliner, and she had a full line on her um, waterline going all the way in. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes, and this is super important, so please make sure you do this. You'll see a huge difference. And I'm going to be using Maybelline's Rocket Volume Express. Her eyelashes were not the focal point of the look at all, so you don't want like false eyelashes or something crazy for this just kind of keep them looking full um, but subtle if that makes sense and also get your bottom lashes then I'm taking my Maybelline Babe Lips in Quenched and I'm just going to moisturize my lips then I'm taking my NYX lip gloss in Perfect and they have really light pink lips they were super pretty so anything you like you can just put on and then I'm going to use my Benefit Standaline blush her blush was really subtle she didn't have like a very bronze contour, nothing like that. It's a really subtle, light pink cheek. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate that with this really pretty blush. She was also super naturally glowy, and I'm going to take High Beam to recreate that from Benefit. And I'm just going to put three dots on my cheekbones. I'm also going to blend that out on to my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my forehead. Stay with me where the stars never fade and the sun won't rise. We can live while we're young. And now you are done with.
with this super pretty Ashley Benson inspired look. And here are some random clips of me just making faces up the camera. <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll talk to you guys later and I love you so much. Bye!